Seriously, why does that happen? Harry doesn't have to do that. Or rather, whatever character I'm playing as at any moment never seems to do that. And I'm not sure I've seen people do that at the beginning of a cutscene, either. They were hiding a cauldron cake up here? How did I not see this yet? Oh, wow, and a card was sitting right in Hagrid's back porch as well. Must have walked past Hagrid's hut twice before now, and never once did I think to walk around and check the other side. Damn. Well, good thing I spotted the cauldron cake from a distance while I was running back towards the castle, or I wouldn't have gotten this card just now, which at this point is far more valuable than the cauldron cake, because unless there are any students holding out on me, or any other cards I have to buy from Fred and George's shop, then these items are probably worthless now. Oh, now there's beans arching between the Spongify tiles. At least I know they're not totally useless now. But like I just said, I'm not sure if there's too much of a point in getting beans anymore. As far as I know, I just need to find the rest of the cards rather than actually buying them. But of course, I see this shit and it's just like the visual stimulus of the beans and other items makes my brain secrete just enough dopamine to want to get them anyways. As if I'll be able to buy anything worthwhile at this point. But hey, I'll have a nice number of beans in my inventory to look at as if it's a high score, right? Okay, I don't remember what this button does. Not a goddamn thing. Either that or I'm missing something here. Hmm, there's another one. Well, same thing with this button, too. Ah, good. Now we're getting somewhere. Great. A Lumos gargoyle with no obvious lit-up wall to pass through. Okay, more beans from these neatly shaped hedges. I'm surprised Harry doesn't have a phobia of snakes after the way his previous year nearly ended in disaster. Oh, okay, I remember now. If I stand on this and activate a timer, it shows me that symbol that was on the button earlier. I forget what happens afterwards, though. I guess I need to run back. The snake. Shit, I haven't seen that one yet. Fuck. Oh, wait. What? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, good. Lucky guess that I found where the snake button was in time. I don't care! I was there three times! Oh, fuck the lion, though. Shit, the timer's counting down much more quickly this time around. Great. I have to do this all over again. Why did I start this timer sequence again without looking for where the lion button is located first? Well, one thing I can guess is that if the timer counts down more quickly for the Gryffindor insignia, then that particular button must not be very far away from the main button platform. For the platform button... This large stone I gotta jump on. And at least I know where to find this one now, although I'm not sure where Hufflepuff's button is either. I may have seen... Yes, there it is. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. I already saw this button there a couple minutes ago. Oh, neat, a phoenix card. Is that bean just going to be stuck in the main button forever? I guess these things never despawn, so I don't know. And it looks like pushing that button again didn't do anything, although I don't see why it would. Okay, seriously, where is this hidden Lumos area? And it keeps wearing off, too, so if it takes too long to find it, then I have to keep running back here to recast Lumos at the Scargoyle. And why have a statue at all if you're just going to hide it behind a tapestry in the first place? Who does that? Well, people at Hogwarts, I guess. Is it out here somewhere? I don't get it. I guess the headmaster and deputy headmistress have nothing better to do at this educational institution that they work for other than just standing out there. 
Wait, there's the Lumos thingy tucked away in that corner, but I guess I'll take care of the Spongify tile first. I really wish I could have found places like this when I still needed cauldron cakes, instead of having to buy them one at a time back in the shop. Oh shit! That would give you a heart attack or a broken leg in real life. This school just doesn't care, but then again I guess it doesn't have to when you have a skilled nurse who can heal most injuries in seconds with the help of magic. Shouldn't that grass tile become semi-transparent to let you know that there's a Spongify tile there? Although I guess most players are going to aim their wand at it anyways, and the game just picks the proper spell for you, so I guess that isn't necessary after all. I mean, if I cast at it again... Let's see here... Wait, what was I trying to do by casting Lumos again? Fuck me, I don't know. Okay, let's see here... Oh shit, you know what? I missed some cards from some of the lessons earlier, so I have to go back and redo those. God fucking damn it. Okay, I'll figure that out soon enough, and I'll consult a walkthrough later because I don't know which colored cards came from where. I won't show the entirety of those lessons again, of course, only the relevant bits. And there's another five cards to be gained from defeating the Monster Book of Monsters. If I can fucking find it again. Oh, sure enough, there it is.